as one Harvard professor is raising the theory this may actually be a piece of alien technology. The official International Asteroid Warning Network has declared an emergency. They just intercepted a shocking broadcast from the interstellar object 3I Atlas. It lasted for exactly nine minutes, was highly complex, and then vanished. This object is already famous for having a 1 in 10 quadrillion chance of being natural. For now, I, I rank it 4 on the scale that I define that is where 0 is a natural object and 10 is a technological object. It's moving impossibly fast, it's made of industrial metals, and it came from the direction of the WOW signal. Now that it has officially talked and gone quiet, scientists fear they know what it's about to do next. The day the silence began. In the pre-dawn hours of October, something broke the silence of space. It wasn't static, it wasn't a solar flare, it was a signal. And it came from the one object every astronomer on Earth was already watching with a mix of dread and fascination. 3I Atlas. You see, the International Asteroid Warning Network, the UN-endorsed group known as IAWN, was already spinning up a major campaign to study this object. But that campaign wasn't supposed to start until late November. They thought they had time, they were wrong. At observatories across the globe, monitors lit up. The signal wasn't just a simple ping. It was a massive, complex spike in radio frequencies lasting for exactly nine minutes. The signal was layered, patterned, and to put it mildly, looked absolutely intelligent. It repeated a sequence of complex mathematical pulses in a way that nothing in nature can. Then, at the nine minute mark, it didn't fade out. It cut off, as if a switch was flipped. Since then, there has been nothing but dead air. This event has turned a fascinating scientific mystery into a potential global crisis overnight. Why? Because of the timing. This shocking broadcast happened just six days before the object's perihelion, its closest, fastest pass by our sun. This is the one point in its journey where, if it were a spacecraft, it could perform a maneuver to change its path with the least amount of energy. What many overlooked is that this UN-backed network wasn't the only group watching. The Galileo Project, a private research group led by scientist Avi Loeb, was already tasked with checking for any unusual activity from technological objects. Loeb had been warning the world about 3I Atlas for months. He had even submitted a white paper to the United Nations about it back in September. He argued that this object and others like it could pose a serious threat if they happened to be carrying alien technology. Most people dismissed it as fantasy, but then came the signal. Now those warnings don't seem so crazy. The IAWN's planned observation campaign in November is useless. The object has made its move. The event is happening now. This signal wasn't a random burst of comet gas. It wasn't a cry for help. It looked for all the world like an announcement, a declaration that it was here. This signal and the chilling silence that followed forces us to look at what we already knew. The truth is, 3I Atlas was never a normal comet. It has eight distinct qualities that make it so strange, so unlikely, that the odds of it being a natural object are almost zero. And now it has just added a ninth. This signal wasn't a call for help, it was an announcement. Why scientists were already scared. So what is this object that's causing so much panic? To put it mildly, 3I Atlas is not a normal visitor. It's the third interstellar object we've ever found, but it makes the other two look like simple rocks. This thing is, in a word, impossible. When scientists, including Avi Loeb, began tracking it, they started a checklist, a list of strange qualities. They now have eight. First, its trajectory. Our solar system is a flat disk like a vinyl record. All the planets, including Earth, circle the sun on this flat plane called the ecliptic. Objects from deep space should come in at random angles, from above or below, but 3I Atlas is flying right along that flat plane, aligned to within 5 degrees. The chances of that happening by accident, a tiny 0.2%. It's like throwing a dart from a mile away and having it land perfectly flat on the edge of a dinner plate. Second, it has a sunward jet, or an anti-tail. Comets are dirty snowballs. When they get near the sun, the ice turns to gas and dust, streaming away from the sun to form a tail. It's basic physics, but during July and August, 3I Atlas was seen with a jet pointing towards the sun. This isn't just weird, it defies explanation. Unless that jet isn't a gas plume, but some kind of engine. Third, its size and speed. This object is a monster. It is about a million times more massive than Oumuamua, our first interstellar visitor. 
It's a thousand times more massive than 2i slash Borisov, the second one, and yet it's moving faster than both. The universe just doesn't seem to make objects this big and throw them this fast. The combined likelihood of its size and speed is less than 0.1%. Fourth, and this is the real kicker, is its arrival time. The path of 3i Atlas is not just strange, it's perfect. It is fine-tuned to an unbelievable degree. Its trajectory brings it within tens of millions of miles of Mars, Venus, and Jupiter. But the timing is even stranger. It was set to reach perihelion, its closest point to the Sun, at a moment when it would be completely unobservable from Earth, hidden in the Sun's glare. The odds of this perfectly timed path happening by chance are, and this is a real number, 0.005%. It's a path that looks engineered. These four points alone were enough to get it ranked a 4 out of 10 on the Loeb scale for a possible technological origin. It was already the most suspicious object humanity had ever encountered, but the data gets much, much worse. The object's path is nothing compared to what it's made of. Not found in nature. You see, comets are dirty snowballs. They are mostly made of water ice. It's their primary ingredient. What many overlooked is the first chemical test done on 3i Atlas. This is anomaly number six. It has almost no water. The gas plume shows it is only 4% water by mass. This isn't a snowball, it's a rock, or something else. This leads to anomaly number five, the chemical signature. This might be the single most important clue we have. When scientists looked at the light from its gas plume, they found it contains way more nickel than iron. This ratio is practically unheard of in natural asteroids or comets. You know where you do find a high nickel to iron ratio? in high-strength, industrially produced nickel alloys, the kind of metal we use to build engines and spacecraft. To make matters worse, its nickel to cyanide ratio is orders of magnitude larger than any of the thousands of comets we have in our own solar system. The chance of this chemistry being natural is below 1%. Then there's anomaly number seven, its extreme negative polarization. This is just a fancy way of saying it reflects light wrong. When sunlight bounces off an object, the light becomes polarized. We can measure that. Every comet we have ever studied, including 2i slash Borisov, reflects light in a predictable way. 3i Atlas does the exact opposite. Its polarization is extreme negative, a value unprecedented for any known comet. It's reflecting light like something that isn't made of natural rock and ice. Finally, anomaly number eight, the WOW signal connection. In 1977, a radio telescope picked up a powerful 72-second signal from deep space. It was so strong, the astronomer wrote WOW on the printout. It remains the most famous and most likely potential alien signal ever heard. 3i Atlas arrived from a direction that lines up perfectly with the origin point of the WOW signal within 9 degrees. The likelihood of that being a coincidence is just 0.6%. So let's add this up. We have an object that isn't a comet. It's on a perfect trajectory. It's made of what looks like industrial metal. It reflects light wrong. And it came from the exact spot of the most famous alien signal in history. The chance of all eight of these things being natural? Less than one in 10 quadrillion. This is not a coincidence. This is not a comet. And now it has just sent us a signal. So what is this unnatural object doing? The coming danger. It is a chilling echo of Oumuamua, but this time the evidence is far more terrifying. A new object, designated 3i Atlas, is currently hurtling through our solar system. And it is not behaving like any comet or asteroid we have ever seen. The data, confirmed by the International Asteroid Warning Network, IAWN, and the Galileo Project, shows not one, not two, but eight distinct anomalies. Its trajectory, its acceleration, its very existence defy our models. The odds of a natural object behaving this way have been calculated at 1 in 10 quadrillion. This has forced the astronomical community to confront a possibility that, until now, belonged only to science fiction. Dr. Avi Loeb, the former chair of Harvard's astronomy department, proposed a terrifying theory just weeks ago. What if 3i Atlas isn't a rock? What if it's a mothership? Imagine it a massive ancient craft, a vessel that has traveled for thousands, perhaps millions of years across the interstellar darkness, an ark or a warship using our sun not by accident but by design, its target, our solar system, its goal, to use our star as a gravitational gas station. The maneuver it seems to be attempting is based on a principle we ourselves dream of using. 
It's called the Oberth Effect, and it's basically a cheat code for the universe. It's a space travel hack that defies our common sense. Here's how it works. If you want to change your path or get a massive speed boost, you don't fire your engines out in deep space. The most efficient, the smartest time to fire your engines is when you are already moving at your absolute fastest. For any object in our solar system, that singular moment is at perihelion the point where it is closest to the sun, deepest inside its immense gravity well. At that moment, the object is moving at millions of miles per hour. A small push there, a seemingly insignificant engine burn, is magnified by the sun's gravity. It results in a colossal change in its final speed and direction. It's the most energy-efficient way to travel, to break, or to deploy a payload, and this is precisely what 3i Atlas appeared to be doing. But the plan, whatever it was, involved one more horrifying step. Six days before this perfect slingshot moment, as the object was plunging toward the sun, it woke up. For nine agonizing minutes, a complex intelligent signal blasted from the object. It wasn't radiation. It wasn't a natural pulse. It was structured. It was a broadcast. Was this a system check? A final diagnostic before the most critical maneuver of its million-year journey? Was it a status report, broadcasting back to a home we cannot even imagine? Or was it the broadcast authorizing the release of many probes? This is the theory that has scientists truly terrified. What if the plan was never to stay? What if the mothership was just a delivery vehicle? What if its sole purpose in using the Oberth effect was to get to the perfect spot to release smaller probes, using the sun's gravity to scatter them, to steer them with pinpoint accuracy toward the planets of our solar system? planets like ours. And now, there is only silence. The broadcast is over. The nine-minute announcement is made. The object has passed its perihelion. Now it's just action. The silence is what's truly chilling. As we speak, the IAWN and the Galileo Project are in a state of frantic, desperate observation. They are pointing every telescope they have, not at the object, but at the empty space where it should be. They are trying to see anything against the blinding glare of the sun. The object is on the other side, hidden from us. We are blind. We are waiting for it to emerge, and when it does, we will have our answer. The questions are agonizing. Will it have changed course? Has it used the Oberth burn to apply the brakes to slow down and enter a stable orbit within our system? Will it be in pieces? This is the hopeful scenario that the object was just a comet after all, and the sun's tidal forces simply ripped it to shreds. That the signal was just the sound of ice and rock fracturing in a way we've never heard before. Or will it be less massive? This is the fear, that the object will emerge still on its interstellar path but lighter that it has successfully released its payload, that the mothership has given birth, and that its children are now coasting silently toward their designated targets. Many people watching this are wondering, is this real? Could this all just be a mistake? A crazy theory from a single scientist? The thing is, every major observatory, from IAWN to the Galileo Project, has confirmed the data. The eight anomalies are real. The one in 10 quadrillion odds are real. And the nine minute signal spike was real. We are not missing a key detail. This is not a misunderstanding. This is happening. The object, or what's left of it, will make its closest approach to Earth on December 19th, just in time for Christmas. The signal has stopped, but the object is still coming. Was this a greeting or a warning? Let us know your theory in the comments. Make sure to like this video and subscribe for critical updates on this story.